Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I am glad to be here. You know, Mark Twain has been quoted as saying the two best days of your life are the day you were born and the day you discovered why. The first day, most of us don't remember the first day. But let's talk about the second day, and I'm not sure that the second day is just one day. The reason that I say that is that there are so many days that may play a major role in leading us to discover our why. You may initially think of your second days to include the day you met or married your spouse, or the birth of your children, or maybe the day of a spiritual awakening that changed how you relate in a very positive way to your life experiences. Maybe it was a catastrophe or a crisis or an illness or a miraculous answer to prayer. Maybe, just maybe, it's because you asked. You have a curious mindset that allows you to continue to ask God to help you be your why. Now, why do I say be your why? Because your why really is not about doing. Is, is your why about doing? No, it's about being. I spoke at a previous Meaningful Monday, I spoke about the importance of knowing and using your pivot foot. Most of you, I think, understand what I say when I, when I say pivot foot. You think of the game basketball. But to be clear, a pivot foot in the game of basketball is when I have possession of the ball, I have to determine one foot or the other as a pivot foot. And once I determine that foot as a pivot foot, I can't change it and I can't shift it or move it. Now I can move the other foot around and I can try to gain advantage. But if I move my pivot foot just an inch, that's called a foul and I lose possession of the ball. Well, in life, we have our pivot foot. You have a pivot foot. I have a pivot foot. My pivot foot represents my why, my essential, my core values, those things that mean the most to me. But really, aren't they all centered around your why? That's your pivot foot. And you don't want to ever do anything that goes contrary to your pivot foot. You don't want to drift from that pivot foot. You know, we have a saying in, in uh, Empowered Wealth that says, we can adapt, but we won't compromise. That means we're not going to move our pivot foot. So for me, keeping my pivot foot grounded is my most important priority. When I drift, I step out of my why. Or as we say in Empowered Wealth, I'm out of my core. There's one of my very, very favorite books is a book called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. And in that book, the devil confesses that the key to his success is the numerous, what he calls drifters in the world. And I think what he means by drifters are those that haven't put forth the tears, the time, energy, attention, and resources to identify what their why is. And when you don't have that pivot foot, you're not grounded and you're going to get tossed to and fro by winds of opinion or by the fear you know, or the wanting to be accepted or, or the fear that will lead you to the unwillingness to stand up for what you really believe in. That's called moving your pivot foot. And then can't you see surrounding us today? Do you see drifters when you look at some of the politicians that are out there? Do you see drifters in the business world? How about in entertainment and sports? Drifting is a popular exercise today, unfortunately. So let's talk about our why, your why. How do we get, how do we, let's say, how do we, how do we arrive at our why? First of all, let's understand that our why is not a def destination. You can't fully arrive. In fact, what I think is you're only going to have glimpses of it. And as you progress, your understanding goes from here to here. It starts to move together. It's like sharpening an axe. When you really think about it, you're sharpening that axe. Every experience that you have in your why, why you're in your why, why you're being in your why, makes it sharper and sharper and clearer and clearer as you move along. Now, how do you sharpen your why? The first thing you have to do is be in gratitude. Without being in gratitude, you can't discover your true why. And the second thing you can do is ask. Simply by just asking, can I get closer to my why today? We call this an empowering question. And we're actually putting our subconscious mind on notice to look for our why. And as you travel through the day and each day, you'll start to see things differently. Your subconscious mind cannot ignore a question and it'll start responding. Now, these are very elementary steps to take. You know, in, in Empowered Wealth, we have a couple of experiences that we share with our clients, what we call our thrivers. And a critical component of leadership is understanding your why. 
Some of you out there today have had an experience with what we call the clarity experience. Some of you have had a one-on-one -on -one with me, maybe perhaps with your spouse, called the Horizon Leadership Intensive, where we take you through an experience that actually guides you and helps you identify your why. You know, the Hall of Fame basketball coach, John Wooden, defines success as the peace of mind that comes from the self-satisfaction of knowing that you are doing the best you can do to become the best you can be. And what that means to me is knowing my pivot foot by being in my why. What is your pivot foot? Make life meaningful, and I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.